Dayton Autonomous Lawnmower Competition. It's a competition hosted every year in Dayton, Ohio uh, by the Institute of Navigation. And so the goal of the competition is to build an autonomous lawnmower that can navigate around a predetermined playing field and provide the best possible cut without any human interaction. A few of the obstacles that we have to overcome are autonomous navigation and we have to also practice obstacle avoidance. There's a white picket fence that we have to mow along, a flower bed that we have to mow around, and a dynamic obstacle that we have to avoid. Our general strategy is to use a combination of vision processing and GPS to make sure we stay within the bounds of the field and our main goal is to have the robot generate an outer boundary of the field uh, initially and then use some sort of uh, space filling curve for an, to figure out an optimal path through the uh, play field. So we'll be able to generate a most efficient path for filling the entire area and maybe we'll have a secondary path that would be the best quote unquote cutting path because one of the grades is how well you cut the grass and space filling curves and grass cutting curves are different. So we overhauled the lawnmower from last year. Last year we had a 24 volt bus and a 12 volt bus battery stack. And so we've eliminated the 12 volt battery stack in favor of putting a uh, universal power supply in it. So now the lawnmower works just like your laptop in that you can drive over to the wall, plug it in, and keep working on the computer uh, while the batteries are recharging. Also we took a even better approach to our safety and reliability. Every subsystem is fused in the lawnmower. Um, so that if one part goes bad, they won't destroy the entire lawnmower. As an electrical engineer on the project, I do power and safety systems, uh, the emergency stop, the wireless emergency stop, uh, and sensor integration. So getting the sensors up to a level that the software engineers can do their processing on them. Programming is a lot of fun and rewarding, but adding a mechanical, physical reaction to your software is even more rewarding because when you can program a robot to walk across a field, you know, drive across a field to cut grass, it adds to the complexity, it also adds to the experience because your, your program and your creation are interacting with the physical world, not just a uh, virtual world.